sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from every fear. Those who look on him are radiant, they'll never be ashamed, they'll never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard me. Save me from my enemies. The Son of God surrounds his saints. He will deliver them. He will deliver them. Taste and see.
Good morning. Good morning, church. Love to hear all that fellowship. It's wonderful to be together this morning. And uh, I certainly come on Sunday morning to see Jesus. And when I look around, I certainly see Jesus in your faces. That's hopefully what you get out of this as well. It's great to see everyone. And, uh, and welcome to our services here at Northeast Church Christ. Sounds like we still got some folks outside. They need to come in. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and get started this morning. So uh, for those that are here, great to see everybody in person. We, uh, we love having everybody together. But if you're visiting with us or, or with us online, great to have, uh, have the opportunity to be in your living room, wherever you happen to be looking uh, at us this morning. So thank you for participating in our services this morning. 
Uh, we do have uh, a couple of, I guess you can call them new guests. They've been here before, but Noah and Cassidy are in town, and they're still meeting people outside. That's what all the commotion is. They're walking in now. Uh, but welcome them. If you haven't got a chance to meet Noah and Cassidy, I'm sure they'll stick around after services and would love to, uh, to meet you and spend a few moments with you. If you're a guest here with us, love to get to know you, and it's great to have you. Uh, we have a, a guest desk out to my right, your left. Would love to spend a few minutes and get to know you after services. So please stop by. I've got a gift I would love to share with you and, uh, and just get to know you a little bit better. Uh, this morning, I think uh, our services, are, or our scripture, I should say, is uh, Mark... 5, 1 through 10. So I'll start with that. We'll get into a prayer and then we'll get into our song service. So Mark 5, 1 through 10. They went across the lake to the region of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an evil spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Swear to God that you won't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you evil spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. This morning we're here to worship Jesus. We'll start with a prayer and then get into our songs. Let's pray. Father, it is wonderful that we know Jesus. Uh, we know the one that can control all and be in all, and it's through him that we have reconciliation back to you. This morning, we pray that our worship would be pleasing to you, that it would be a sweet aroma before your throne. Most importantly, that Jesus would be glorified and we would see Jesus among us this morning. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Ben, let's sing. Let's all stand. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before the Lord with joyful song. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before the Lord with joyful song. And know that He is God and we are His people. And know that He is God and we are His people. Enter His gate. Yeah. 
Reflections. We talk about the idea of looking back and seeing things that we have done before and we reflect on those things. And while we take time here today to reflect on what has happened in the past, what God has done through Jesus Christ, 
we reflect on what God has only done for him, uh, for those in the Old Testament, but what he does for us today. Reflecting on where we were when we were in sin and dark and deepness of life, we realize at just the right time God would send his son. The Revelation or the Exodus writer uh, says this Say therefore to the people of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burden of the Egyptians, and I will deliver you from the slavery of them. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm. And with great acts of judgment, I will take you by the people, or I will take you to be my people, and I will be your God. And you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who has brought you out from under the burden of the Egyptians. The four cups of the Passover are very in, uh, entangled with us even today. We realize they stand for each of the four promises that God made in the book of Exodus and applies to us today through Jesus Christ. First of all, there's the cup of sanctification. To be set apart in the New Testament, it means in reflection of the idea that followers of Jesus have been set apart as a result of his holiness. God said, I will bring you out from among those under the burden of the Egyptians. The cup of deliverance. I will rescue you from the bondage. I will deliver you from the slavery of them. We were under bondage. And Christ has released us from that bondage. The cup of redemption. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm. The release of people, animals, or property from bondage through the payment of a price. And Jesus says, I, I'm going away to pay that payment. Then the cup of praise. I will take you to be my people. In Luke 22:15. We realize that here's what Jesus says, I earnestly desire to drink this Passover, eat this Passover with you. And then in 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7, the writer says that for Christ, our Passover lamb has been sacrificed. And so these uh, times we come together like this to reflect back on not just what uh, we realize that we do every week, but it's a time that we reflect on why we do it every week. And that's because there's things that we realize that God has done for us. He sanctifies us. He delivers us. He's redeemed us. And this is a cup of praise for what he's done for us. And so as we realize we've been delivered from darkness to the dominion of his beloved son in whom we have redemption and forgiveness of sin, 1 Corinthians, Colossians 1, 13 and 14. We realize we take this not just as an act of worship, but as a time of reflection as we look back and say, what has Christ done for us? What has God done for us? He's redeemed us. He's paid the price. And so we take this bread that represents his body and the cup that represents his blood. And we do so not just out of a habit, but we do so as reflecting on what God, through his son, has done for us. Let's bow as we pray, please. Father, for the bread that we uh, partake at this time that represents your, your son's broken body, we pray, Father, you would bless us in this uh, event that we do every Sunday, not as just a time to say the next thing coming up, but a time when we can really reflect on what God you have done through your son Jesus. Uh, you have sacrificed him, and through his sacrifice, Father, we have hope. We have forgiveness. We have deliverance. And Father, as we take this that represents his body, there's not words that we can say that would be enough to say thank you. So we just say commonly in our prayers and in our thoughts and in our minds, thank you for the sacrifice your son made. Thank you for the resurrection of your son that we, we worship a risen savior. And Father, through him, we have this opportunity to reflect on what he's done. And we just thank you for that. Bless us and Father, continue to be with us as we partake of this bread in Jesus' name. Amen. And after the Israelites had eaten 
the Passover meal and deliverance is about to come. Realize when they go in before the time comes, they're told to put blood on the door, door post and the lentils and we realize that there's a special way that the death angels then is going to pass by them. But when they come out of that place of worship or where they come out of that place of the Passover, they walk through blood. And so this fruit of the vine represents that blood that we walk through when we become a part of the kingdom, part of the church. We become him living in us. And so as we partake of this, we'll maybe reflect back on what his life has done for us. Father, we thank you for this uh, fruit of the vine. We thank you for his willingness to go to the cross. Father, not only to uh, shed his blood, but Father, to absorb all the uh, problems there was in the world that your anger, you know, he, resor- he, he absorbed all that to satisfy you. And Father, in that death, we realize that that is the lamb that was slain for our sins. Bless us as we partake of this, and Father, help us to reflect every time we get together. We reflect on what great, great love you have for us. We pray in Jesus' name, and amen. Let's all stand as we sing the song before the lesson this morning. And during this time, children can be dismissed to their children's worship. Since the love of God has shed Christ's blessing on my head, I have been, I have been, I have been in my own, in my own. I will hide it in my heart. Yeah.
as has already been mentioned this morning, we are whatever that need is. Let's stand and sing and give thanks to God as we sing. Good morning, everyone. I, again, want to welcome everyone to uh, this time of worship that we've been able to share together. For those who are online this morning that have joined us, is, again, are welcome. And I uh, hope that it's been uplifting for you in your time with us as we worship God this morning. Grady, thank you for your words this morning. Very encouraging for us to know that God knows us by name and he cares for us. And through uh, the forgiveness that he gives to each of us as his children, uh, we can be healed from all of the wrongs that we have done in our lives, and we're so thankful uh, for Jesus and for the sacrifice that he made for us. Uh, I've got several announcements I want to share this morning. Uh, we invite you to join us for a day of gratitude on August 21st, two weeks from now, uh, in celebration of Grady's 40 years of full-time ministry. Uh, there'll be, uh, the day will include a, a reception uh, honoring Grady for uh, his uh, time here at Northeast and the pulpit work that he's done with us. Uh, it'll be in the kid men room during the adult Bible class hour. That'll be followed by a sermon that'll be brought to us by Nick. And then uh, there'll be a, a catered luncheon in the lower lobby. So we are hope that you'll be able to join us for that very special day two weeks from now on August 21st. 
Uh, we have several things occurring uh, in, in opportunities to serve this morning. Uh, as Grady mentioned, the City Gospel Mission, if you'd like to participate and uh, be a part of that, to go down and, and share in that meal with, with uh, uh, those that are, are partaking of that at City Gospel Mission, you can still sign up to, 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 uh, to be uh, in attendance at the meal through our uh, northeastchurch.com website on the uh, Share Jesus page. If you'll scroll down to that, you can sign up and, and be a part of that. You'd be welcome and hope you'll take advantage of that. In addition to our end of summer back to school event that's occurring this afternoon here at the building for uh, foster and adoption uh, uh, families on uh, focused on youth at 2 to 4 p.m. today, there's opportunities to serve uh, in, in that as well. Uh, you'd be welcome to come up uh, between 2 and 4 and help uh, serve those families. Uh, we're, we're also participating in a... Um, in a school supply drive for the Cincinnati Urban Ministry Outreach Effort, Kumo Schools uh, School Supply Drive. It's going to raise money to provide uh, basic backs to school supplies for uh, the Millville Public Elementary School Taylor Academy. This is a, a monetary uh, a drive for uh, purchasing school supplies. If you'd like to contribute, you can make a check out to Northeast and note uh, Kumo School Supplies. You can also uh, make a contribution online uh, or through our app as well. This coming Wednesday, August 10th, uh, we ask that you'll be watching for an email from the elders inviting all of our members to unite in a congregationally focused prayer. This email will mark the beginning of a church-wide call to prayer for the opportunities that lie ahead as we approach uh, Noah Eisenhower's uh, first sermon here at Northeast as a preaching teaching minister on September 4th. Uh, the email we'll, you'll receive will provide a theme for you to center your prayer on for the week and will be followed by an additional themed prayer each Wednesday through August 24th and then daily from August 29th through September 3rd uh, preceding Noah's arrival here. Shifting to, uh, to some uh, prayer thoughts this morning, um, we shared this week in an urgent prayer request for our brother James Porter, uh, that he had uh, experienced a seizure this past Tuesday and went into cardiac arrest. After a period of time, he was re revived and transported uh, to UC Hospital in Westchester, uh, where he remains unconscious and unresponsive. I had a conversation with Portia yesterday, and she shared that the tests are not encouraging for James and asks that we pray for comfort for James and for time as Portia considers the next steps. Portia has also communicated this morning she's been called to the hospital. Her sons are, are in town, uh, and so we want to remember uh, James and Portia and her sons as, uh, uh, as they are considering uh, what's, what's happening with James and his health. So um, if you will, uh, let's go to God in prayer, and we'll remember that thought together. Father God, we come before you in prayer, thankful for the avenue uh, to come to your, to your throne, Father, to uh, give you praise for your greatness, and Father, just to thank you for uh, the love that you have for us and for your son Jesus and for the relationship that we have with, him, with you through him. We thank you so much for uh, this avenue of prayer that we can approach you with uh, our, our hearts open uh, and share with you what is on our heart. Father, this morning we, uh, we pray for uh, James Porter and we pray for Portia and for her sons as, uh, as they are attending to him uh, th this morning with, uh, with his health and his health concerns. Father, we pray for those um, medical staff who uh, have the expertise to give her uh, the guidance and insight uh, that, that she uh, is looking for. And Father, we just pray for, uh, for comfort for James and for a time as, as Portia uh, uh, deals with, uh, with these decisions. And, and thank you so much for being with them. Father, we pray for your, your strength and your arms of love and, and uh, mercy around them as, uh, as they're uh, uh, together this morning. Father, we pray this morning as well for uh, Steve Allison's parents, Gene and June Allison, and for, um, for the, 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 the transitions that uh, Steve's parents are going through. Uh, we pray for uh, wisdom uh, for those uh, decisions and just ask that you'll be with Steve and with Cindy as, uh, as they care for and uh, support the needs of their, uh, their parents, Jean, or Steve's parents, Gene and June. 
Father, we, we pray for uh, Charles Prince Sr., uh, for uh, his care and the doctors who are attending to him as he uh, battles and deals with stage four lung cancer. We just ask for strength, ask for a special prayer for Charles Jr. and for Chrissy uh, to be uh, at peace and to, um, uh, to be comforted uh, by, by uh, the care and, the, and the, the love that you have for them and just ask that you'll watch over and protect them. Father, we pray uh, continually for Cody and uh, Corey for, uh, for uh, the, the, the difficulties that he's experienced, but Father, we give you praise for uh, the healing uh, that has occurred. And we ask that you'll uh, be with him as he transitions to this step-down unit. Uh, we're thankful that Karen can be with us this morning as well, and we pray for Wade as he continues to uh, care for and and uh, be available for Corey as, uh, as he continues to heal. And just give you thanks so much for uh, the, the answered prayers. And just ask, Father, that you'll continue to comfort and give uh, Corey strength and, uh, and peace as he goes through this. Father, we pray for uh, those families of our uh, uh, membership who have lost loved ones, including Portia Porter, whose uh, recent passing of her father, Lawrence Connell, uh, we've mentioned Portia and, and the, all that she's going through and just ask that you'll comfort her, especially as she grieves the passing of her father. And we pray for Jerry Moffat uh, and, and as she grieves the passing of Alan and for Stella Meese with the passing of Clint. Father, so many that, that we ask that you'll comfort them, uh, give them uh, 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 peace as they uh, face the, the decisions ahead of them and just thank you so much for the love that you have. Uh, we know many of our members that are dealing with health concerns, uh, several who are dealing with the effects of COVID. We ask that you will continue to strengthen those who are recovering and those who deal with health issues to give them peace and comfort as they, as they move forward. Father, we pray uh, this morning as well for Noah and for Cassidy as they prepare to, uh, uh, to begin their work here. Uh, we ask that you'll be with them, uh, watch over them, protect them as we pray for uh, Grady and Nick as well in their ministry and work here at Northeast, that you'll continue to bless that. Father, we, we thank you so much for the, the many members here who support the work of the church here financially. We pray your, your, your blessing on that work and for uh, the gifts that are given. We thank you so much for the opportunity to serve you, the many opportunities that we have this week. And we just pray, Father, that we can be um, your hands and feet uh, and a light to those that, uh, that we come into contact with. Father. Forgive us when we fail you. Watch over us and protect us, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Let's all stand for our final song this morning.
Thank you for joining us today here at Northeast. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run. The fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide. The ransom for my life, oh, he is my song. You are good, good. Lord, 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 let the King of my heart be the wind inside my sails. The anchor in the waves, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins. The echo of my days, oh, he is my song. You are good, good. Lord, you are good, good. Lord. Good, good, Lord, you are good. 